Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today is day nine of our Inktober 2024 Beginner Tangles Challenge. I'm Yehudit Steinberg, a certified Zen Tangle teacher, and today we'll explore a lo lively and graceful tangle called Diva Dance. This pattern combines curvy lines with random weighted ink marks, creating a flowing texture. It's fun to explore with aura lines, spirals, and angled strokes. Let's begin by gathering our material. So you're looking at the screen, you're looking at the step out Diva Dance by Zentangle. And there are several different versions of Diva Dance. And we're going to do the basic Diva, we're going to do the basic Diva Dance. And you can see my example here. And it's an easy tangle. It's a lot of fun and it creates some really great texture. So let's get started with going over once again the um the supplies that we'll use in this one so i am working on a two inch bijou renaissance tile and these i just want to show you what we've done over the the past few days there's a little bit of light shining on it i let's see here we go um, and I have seen some really beautiful uh, drawings from you in the group. So thanks for posting, keep posting. And today, I think you're going to learn a tangle that you're really going to like. It's become one of my favorite. And I'm going to give you some of my tips on how I was to really um, overcome some of my issues with Diva Dance in the beginning. So I am um, using a Micron 01. I also have the PN here, the plastic nib, and this um, will help with some of the inking that we'll do along the way. And I brought my Unipin, uh, the 05, in case I want to have some um, thicker ink inking lines. I have a 2B Mars Lumograph Statler pencil that uh, graphite that I really like and a small Tortillon. The way we start our videos is that I set up the step out because uh, you can take a picture, a frame shot of this of this step out that I've created for you and keep a file of them that way you will remember you, you can refer to it and remember how to create recreate diva dance I'd like to get started with just taking a few moments to get centered take a couple of deep breaths And today, I just want to mention that I'm keeping close in my heart all of the millions of people that are in the way of Hurricane Milton. And it's starting its um, onslaught over the state of Florida with a ton of tornadoes happening at the moment. And I just want a moment of silence to keep those, um, all those people in our hearts and hope that they have gone to safety and have evacuated if they have been given evacuation orders. And let's just hold them in our hearts for just a moment before we begin.
today's tango's diva dance, the pattern is known for his rhythmic curving lines and random ink marks, which create a sense of movement and drama. There are many variations, including linear, spiraling, and angled strokes. I've set out the step out prior and hope that you got the screenshot. Feel free um, to put this in a journal. Now we're going to start with um, the first step of the step out, which I'll bring that over now. Step one. So we're going to make some squiggly lines. And so th this is really good. And we're then we're going to do a parallel or a line and then we move into um, starting to add the ink in the line, which is a really fun, fun process. And as we, um, so as we look at this particular drawing that I did, I'm actually going to make a, um, even though I'm not going to put my dots in the corner in a border, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string. And this string is going to meander. And then I'm going to come down the center and add another line. I'm going to pick up my pn plastic nib and we'll get started i'll create a wiggly line following this string and then the second step is i'm going to make an aura now there are different ways that you can um create this tangle and one of the things i learned was that um i have this second um aura line without any ink and then i come in and on top of it i add some ink in different random places don't overthink this this is a great tangle for zen flow and just having fun working the steps so doing it this way it's just a, a lot of fun and you're not the great mystery is what will it look like when it's finished so i'll create an aura now you may want to try this two different ways creating one aura i'm going to try it with two auras which has a little less ink but if you want to have more ink then you may uh, only choose to do one aura. And that was a big uh, lesson for me in um, learning a, um, a way to do this tangle that I really liked because I liked having the spaces in between um, with the double aura. And then I found when I worked on another uh, pattern, I only wanted to have one line. So it's really dependent upon you and your intuition, and it will change. It can change from time to time, and it will change the uh, the way your um, your diva dance the overall look 
So you see it starting to, maybe I'm only here going to put one aura as we get closer to the edge. I'm going to put a little bit of ink here. You want to look where you don't have a lot of ink. Now I'm going to put an aura. And here I could put a little ink. So there's one side. I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to make my squiggly line. I'm going, I'm um, adding an aura. I'm going to add another aura. And we'll see the difference. Now I'm randomly putting my ink. You can make them different sizes. And then I, I will create the aura. So, so easy to do. Just play. Don't overthink this because you really can't. <laughs> it's going to evolve. And each time you do it, it will look a little bit different. So that's the beauty of it. I'm adding one aura on this one. And then come in and add a little ink. Try to space your ink so in between where there was ink before and give it an aura. I'm going to ink it in over here. So you see how it can develop and it develops pretty quickly. Now let's work on this line and see what happens. Give it an aura. Give it some ink. I'll give, I'm going to give it, I'm giving it two auras. I'm going to turn my tile. And So that's Diva Dance. 
let's take a look for a moment and decide where we'll add a little shading to this. I think I'm going to come in here in these little corners, crevices here. There's a lot of inking, so I, I, I don't see a lot of shading at the moment. But you might, you might find areas to shade. But I'm just going to put the slightest shading. I'm going to pick, I'm picking up my uh, blending stump and I'm going to give it a little bit of contrast to help bring up these areas, emphasize them a little bit. And we're ready to sign. I'll get my 01. I'll put my initials. And we move on to making our notes and journaling. So this is Inktober. Twenty twenty four. Don't forget the year. This tangle is Diva Dance, and it was created by Zen Tangle. We are on day nine, and it's it's moving quickly. October is definitely moving along. I'm going to sign my name and I'm going to sign the date. So let me um Here's the tangle if you didn't get a screenshot let me back off just a second to be able to do that for you. And just reminding you, if you still want to join the Mandala um, Tangle Challenge that, we're, that we also have offered during Inktober, there's still time to join. This is this is the um, mandala template that um, that we're working with, and this is what I did last year in October twenty twenty three, and I'll show you where I am at this moment in um. Inktober, so we add a different tangle each day. Um, we actually add them on Sunday when we meet on the Zoom. And it's we have a great group there. There's lots and lots of information and tips. And it's great to see how everybody's doing this a little bit different. So, um, I encourage you to join if you um, want to take this next step and be a little more in depth and learn how to do the watercolor background. Uh, once you're finished with your sample of Diva Dance, and I've seen, I have seen a few of of you post um, taking the seven. Um, or how many tangles, now it's nine, and putting it into a string and creating a Zen tangle uh, tile, um, you are, it really, it really becomes a lot of fun and it's great learning for different um, beginner tangles that you can use in your 
a Zentangle journey. I want to thank you for joining me today. And yes, we do have super great group on Sunday and she is one of them. Do a uh, tune in tomorrow and we'll have another session of mindful drawing. Until then, remember one stroke at a time. Bye for now.